What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Rusto Mod Garage. In this episode, we're back to work on the C10 build. So if you're unfamiliar with the build, I'll link all the C10 playlists up here. And you can see all the videos of this truck, but a short run of it, it is an all wheel drive C10 that we put a entire Cadillac Escalade chassis underneath. And in the last episodes, you saw us talk about the full interior of the truck and you saw us install some correction control arms on the front of the truck to be able to solve some of the camber issues that we we're having. So in this episode, we're going to tackle the last few projects on this thing so we can get this thing completed so we can do awesome drag and drive events. So I'll show you guys what we're gonna be doing. So in this episode, I really wanted to finish this bed up and this is probably gonna be broken up into a few episodes, but I wanna get started on the bed of this truck. Now in previous episodes, I talked about how the bed of this truck is actually from a different truck and the cab is from the original truck that I started with. This cab is actually the original paint and the bed was originally black and I spray painted it, kind of tried to match the color of the original truck. So the bed is kind of one of the big question marks on this build because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. But now I have a really good idea of what I want to do and how I'm going to implement the bed to be a really cool aspect of the build. So to start, I really want to do an entire bed floor in this. And I want to show you guys the design process of how we'll come up with a really cool way to implement a bed floor. I don't want to do just a traditional style wood bed as I want to keep this truck as light as possible, but I'd also like to allow for compartments to be able to get to the gas tank and to access our battery up there in case we have any issues on the road. So in previous episodes, you guys saw how we put this bed onto this frame and we ended up making a frame for the bed to be able to bolt to the Escalade frame in multiple locations so that the bed could sit onto the Escalade frame and be able to be removed as easily just like a normal bed. So the thing that we kind of left off with was being able to do an entire floor in the frame of this bed. So like I'm saying, I want to have multiple compartments to be able to lift on and off and doing a traditional wood bed like you see in multiple old trucks would be ideal. I think that's a really cool look, but I'm gonna do it a little bit different. I want this bed to be as light as possible so it doesn't add too much weight to the truck as the truck is already pretty heavy and wood would probably be the heaviest thing I could add into the back of the truck. So I wanna do probably an aluminum bed floor which we can machine here. And I wanna show you guys the entire process of how we will design it in CAD like we've done on the Rambler build. Use some of the equipment here where we can machine the entire bed floor, add some of the compartments that I'd like to do on the C10 bed, and then assemble the whole thing and put it into the truck, but also give it that classic wood look that I'm going for. So I'm probably gonna have to break this up into multiple parts, but I wanna show you guys the entire process so that maybe you guys can do something similar on your classic truck project at home. So I'll show you guys the whole process now. So the first thing that we have to do is get the bed measured. So we ended up measuring the entire bed just with the tape measure. So it's just a square, easy piece to measure. We didn't end up using the ferro arm like we've done in the Rambler build. This is easy enough that we can transfer what we measured with the tape measure and put it into our CAD file to begin designing the entire bed floor. The complications arise when we have the roll cage from the cab coming down to the frame. We want our bed floor to be where the bars from the roll cage go through the bed floor and then be able to have the bed be removable. So if we have to service anything, we can still service the frame and everything without having to modify any of our roll cage or anything like that. So this is basically what we've come up with. We have the C10 bed floor all drawn up here with different panels so that way we can remove it if we need to. And as you can see here, we have the roll cage coming down from where the cab would be into the bottom of the floor here. If we have to ever remove the bed floor, there's a seam that goes right here where the roll cage comes down so we can remove these panels and be able to access like the rear end or something like that if we ever have to. There's also some hinged panels here where we can lift up and get to our fuel tank or lift up here to get to our battery. Underneath we also have some support channels so we can bolt panels to our frame and then we have the channels that were already put into our C10 bed floor to be able to support that. And then the hinge pieces will just be a magnet so we can 
unlatch them easily, but they'll be strong enough to hold it any gust of wind that when we're driving down the road, they won't fly open. So we just have a few magnets on there. So we'll see how that works for the time being. That's pretty much our basic design of our C10 bed floor. And so now I'll begin by showing you how we're gonna make this thing. All right, so now that we got those pieces designed in CAD, we can go ahead and cut them on our water jet machine. And I'll show you guys how that process works. It's pretty neat. All right, so this is our water jet machine. And if you remember Justin from the episode where we found all those cars on the sawmill, he's where I found all those vehicles and found the Cadillac and everything like that. And he's our water jet operator. So I'm gonna go through the process of the water jet and show you guys how it works. So basically with the water jet, we bring our CAD file that we have drawn upstairs into the machine down here and we can lay out the piece of material that we want, which right now we're using some 090, so it's really light, so we can use it for the drag racing purpose. This machine uses water and a little bit of what we call garnet, which is a little bit of a abrasive material, and it can cut pretty much any size material that we want. So for example, these are some pieces of material that we've cut with the water jet. You can cut aluminum unlike a plasma cutter where you can only cut steel, um, and here's some other pieces that we've cut. You, we've cut all the way up to what, six inches? Yeah, six inches of 661. Yeah, so we, we can cut very, very thick material. We could probably cut a little bit thicker than that even for some jobs that we do here. For our purpose, um, this is what we're using to be able to cut our bed floor so we can fit it into our C10 bed. So Justin's gonna get ready to cut this entire sheet out and then I'll show you guys the process after that. water jetted all these pieces out of here so this is what's the leftover material and then now we've got these pieces like this so you see how they're kind of just gross from sitting in outside and everything like that so now we're gonna use this machine which we call the time saver and we're gonna run these pieces through here and it'll give it a nice finish so we can go over and bend the pieces So now that we got those pieces cut out, we are going to bend the edges of them so we can fit them into the bed of our C10. We didn't want to just put flat pieces in there because it'd probably rattle around and stuff, especially with how thin we're going to make these things. So we're going to bend the edges to give them some rigidity and then we're going to attach them all together and put them into our truck bed. So here's our pieces. Um, they turned out pretty good. You can see the finish on them is a lot nicer than whenever we just started over there with the water jet. So we have our two pieces here, which are the same for our lids for the gas tank and then one for the battery. And then these are where the roll bar is going to go through. You can see one on each side, so those will go in the middle. And then we're gonna bend these two pieces as a rib for a support to attach the two middle pieces to the frame of 
the C10 bed. So we have our press brake here and we're going to bend up the edges of these things and then we can see how they fit into the C10 bed. So we got all of our panels bent up as you saw at the press break. They turned out pretty good just like we had designed. So now we're going to throw them into our C10 to see how they fit up. All right, so you can see how that looks. We got the whole bed floor in there, all bent up, fits really good, right around our roll cage there. And you can see, so obviously we don't have the hinges in it yet, but these will fold up so we can get to our gas tank. And then this will fold up, get to our battery. And I might make a uh, tray in there so we can put some tools or whatever in the bottom there. So that'll fold down, but yeah, that thing is all ready to go. All right guys, we got our bed floor finally in and it looks pretty good. So in the next episode, I'm gonna do a wood style floor in it. So you guys can see what we're gonna do. I haven't seen it done before, but I think it could be a new trend that guys are gonna do because it's a pretty inexpensive way, an easy way to do a custom wood floor in a C10. So you guys will have to stay tuned for that episode. And I have to put all the hinges and get it completely mounted into the truck. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks so much.